Hey guys, welcome to the video. The predict command forecasts values for one or more sets of time series data. The command can also fill in missing data in a time series and provides predictions for the next several time steps. As we're going to see in this example, uh, we're going to have a bar graph displaying the number of purchases made on a specific host, and the predict command is going to provide us with confidence intervals for all of its estimates um, with an upper and lower 95th percentile range displayed on the graph. In this instance, we're just going to use the practice data that came from Splunk. Here we're in the index of web. Um, if we want to look at purchases made, on a specific host, we're going to use um, WW1 as our host. It'll pull up the events that come from that. But as I said earlier, predict needs some kind of time series data to work off of. So we're going to use time chart. Counting the number of purchases by our host. And this is going to display a bar graph. And as you can see, the bar graph just shows how many purchases were made on that host for the day. So in this one on November 8th, there were 76 purchases made. So with the benefit of the predict command, We're going to be able to see predictions extend off the graph here for future days, for future predictions, and the upper and lower 95th percent, uh, percentile confidence ranges um, for the graph. So use predict in your environment where it makes sense to you. Maybe you need to see future um, trend analysis and some use case, maybe for predicting the amount of disk usage you're using a day, use space, or data ingest. Um, in this instance, we used it to see a high confidence level of how many purchases we can expect to occur um, on our host for WWW1.